Hello, and welcome to part two of chapter 17, the cardiovascular system. Um, I just want to warn you that we're going to pretty much just be doing PowerPoint slides, and I want to tell you why. Cardiovascular system is extremely large. Um, in order for us to go like we've been through, been doing, excuse me, been doing through our CPTs, it's just going to be lots of flipping back and forth and long, long medical terms. So we're just going to go through the PowerPoint slides. And uh, then we're going to do a coding packet, but I'm actually going to be doing a step-by-step -step of how we code it uh, the way I've done before. So I just want to tell you guys, just get through our PowerPoint slides. Um, also, um, if you prefer to just do PowerPoint slides and read through your chapter, those are available for you in your folder on Edmodo. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to share my screen and we're going to get these slides started. Okay, so now we're moving into the cardiovascular medicine portion of the CPT. Um, and uh, I know that I'm looking at the 2020, but I want you just to tell you the CPT code range we're looking at. If you go to 92950 and it says other therapeutic services and procedures above it, it says cardiovascular. So cardiovascular service can be invasive or non-invasive if they're in the medicine section. Diagnostic or therapeutic. Some examples of subheadings are coronary therapeutic services and procedures. And if you look right across from that uh, CPT code that I just told you, the uh, 92950, if you look over, you're gonna see in your CPT, you're gonna see coronary therapeutic service and procedures. And there are some pretty um, awesome guidelines there that you need to review, and highlight and label. Cardiography, cardiovascular monitoring services, Implantable, insertable, and wearable cardiac device evaluations, and echocardiography. So some of the commonly used cardiovascular codes are included in the therapeutic service set subheading, which would be your cardioversions, infusions, thrombolysis, placement of catheters and stents, and arthrectomy, and angioplasty. cardiac catheterizations, intracardiac, electrophysiologic procedures and studies, the EP, <clears throat> peripheral artery disease rehabilitation, which is PAD. I have to tell you guys, it's really difficult to get PAD paid for, you know, as a cardiology coder, so. Non-invasive physiologic studies and procedures and other procedures. So let's go back to therapeutic services and procedures. Let's turn to 92920 in your CPT. And let's talk about what's there. The types of services you're gonna find in therapeutic are gonna be cardioversion, infusions, thrombolysis, and catheter placement. Many of these services used to be performed with the use of open procedures, but they are now performed percutaneously. Many groups of codes are divided by method, for example, balloon or blade, location, for example, aortic or mitral valve, or number, single or additional vessels. So cardiography and cardiovascular monitoring services start at 93000. So let's turn to our 93000, which you can see says cardiography, has a few guidelines there. 
Some, some of these service types are stress tests and Holter monitors. Okay, a code that I used a lot is 93010, which is an, uh, an, EK, an EKG or an ECG electrocardiogram. And that was interpretation and report only. <clears throat> so electrocardiogram, separate codes for global procedure and components, and it's professional or technical. These are, are our um, modifiers. So remember I told you that I used the 93010 all the time when I was coding for the cardiology office? I would do, code a 93010. 26 modifier because the professional read it. But if the technician read it and it was sent off and the technician read it, it would be a TC modifier. The electrocardiogram provides a reading of electrical currents of the heart and is a standard test conducted to detect suspected cardiac abnormalities. So that's what an ECG is. So let's talk about Halter reports. The report summarizes cardiac activity over a 24 hour period during which the patient wears the monitor. The report is produced via computer analysis of cardiac output during the time when the patient wears the Halter monitor or the Halter device. So, I am kind of looking through and looking for the halter monitor in my CPT. And of course, it's not popping out to me. <laughs> so, <clears throat> we will go back to that. But I want you to take a look at the halter report. Indication, patient with AFib, patient with known cardiomyopathy. So this is your halter report that you would code from. So that would come to your desk or be uploaded to you. You would print it. You would write the date of service on it. And you're going to be able to look at that through your EHR system. You would write the patient's account number. You would write your CPT code and you would write your diagnosis codes. So if you, I don't know, can you got, hopefully you guys can see this. I would write date of service here, account number here, CPT code here, and diagnosis codes there. So when my biller would get it, she could look at different spots to get what she needed. So anyway, that was just cool for me to be reminded of how a halter report looked, a halter report looked. So next we're gonna be talking about implantable, insertable and wearable cardiac device evaluations. Um, category notes include definitions and instructions and they're extensive notes. As you guys can see, if you go to 93278 as your CPT code as a reference, you're gonna see implantable, insertable and wearable cardiac devices. And there are lots of key terms and definitions and things that you need to read through and know. Just read through and highlight a little bit. Do some studying, do some researching, get in the CPT. Next, we're gonna talk about echocardiography, which is 93303 is where it starts. So let's go there in our CPTs. This is a non-invasive diagnostic, diagnostic procedure. The ultrasound detects presence of cardiac or vascular disease. Now we're gonna move into cardiac catheterizations. Used to identify valve disorders and abnormal blood flow. There could be many bundle services in a catheterization. Cardiac catheterization is a diagnostic medical procedure. The procedure may be performed percutaneously. So I would like to take a look at 
TPT code 93458. 93458. If you go there, it says, okay, let's look at our main code, which is going to be, sorry, 93454, which says catheter placement in coronary artery for coronary angiography, including intra-procedural injections for coronary angiography, imaging supervision, and interpretation. And then when you go through, if you go to 934 5 8, that's with left heart catheterization, including intraprocedural injections and all of those things. What I want to say is, as a cardiology coder, 93458 was my most commonly used procedure code because we did left heart catheterizations every single day. So I just thought that was fun to point that out. So cardiac catheterization, here's some examples. Introduction, positioning and repositioning of the catheter, pressure readings inside heart or vessels, blood samples, rest exercise studies, final evaluation and report, many codes, modifier 51 exempt. Um, I don't think I ever used a modifier 51 on any cardiology code. Modifier 51 is, let's see multiple procedures because most things are bundled in. Your catheter placement is going to be bundled into your catheter, uh, your, uh, your left heart cath. There's so many things that are involved in that procedure. So you need to get into your guidelines because they are very extensive and read on cardiac catheterizations. Three components of coding cardiac catheterization is the placement of the catheter, the injection of the medication, imaging, supervision, interpretation, and the report. All three components are included in most catheterization codes. Some cardiac catheterization codes require an image injection code. Catheterizations for congenital anomalies require these two codes, um, but I just in my experience, guys, doesn't mean that it won't happen. I never used those codes, but they're just saying that you could possibly use those codes. Besides these three components of placement injection and imaging, um, some other services can be included, such as image, image supervision and interpretation. So let's talk about intracoronary brachiotherapy. 92974. So let's go to our 92974. Looks like that we're backtracking a little bit. 92974. Okay. Uh, intracoronary brachytherapy, brachytherapy, yeah, that's right. New procedure uses radioactive substances to destroy restenosis of coronary vessels. Patients have had stent placed in the coronary vessel and stent restenosis is the reformation and because of reformation of plaque. A stent may be placed in a coronary artery to open a vessel blocked with plaque or stenosis. Intracoronary brachiotherapy is used to reopen the vessel and the radioactive strip is left in place for up to 45 minutes before it is removed. So what happens during this procedure? The cardiologist places a guide wire and a catheter the radiation oncologist places the radioactive elements. Okay, so now we're going to 93600. So let's move to that code. All right, I'm there. These services are used to diagnose and treat conditions of the electrical system of the heart. 
These tests involve the placement of special catheters into the heart and cardiac vessels for purpose of placing and recording intracardiac activity. Intracardiac electrophysiologic procedure studies are less invasive than those coded in the surgery section for repair of the electrical system of the heart. So here is a diagram of the EP. Lesions are diseases involving these structures along the electrical conduction pathway underlie many disturbances of the cardiac rhythm. So that is a pretty cool diagram. Electrical recording codes are divided based on location of the recording device. For example, bundle of his or her right ventricle. So if we look at 93600 in your CPT, it says bundle of his recording. 602 intra art art atrial, sorry. Intraatrial recording, O3 is right ventricle recording. And we have a O with a slash through it. So let's look at our key on the bottom. And that means modifier 51 exempt. Pacing is a procedure that temporarily stabilizes heart rhythm through the use of electrophysiologic procedures. For example, intra, intraventricular or intraarterial pacing. My goodness, today I'm getting all tongue tied. So how is pacing coded? According to the location as intra, intraventricular or intraarterial. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. So now we're going to talk about PAD. Okay, so peripheral artery disease, PAD, rehabilitation, 93668. So let's go to 93668. Peripheral artery disease rehabilitation consists of physical exercises, designed to enhance a patient's cardiovascular endurance. The rehabilitation sessions can be 45 to 60 minutes. The use of motorized treadmill, treadmill track to build the patient's CV endurance can be used. And it's, you're supervised by an exercise physiologist, physiologist or a nurse. Oh, goodness gracious, this tongue of mine. So non-invasive physiologic studies and procedures, 93701. So let's go to 93701, which is right underneath PAD. This category contains codes for services such as plesmo, plesmo, Mography, recordings of changes in size of the body part, which blood passes through it. Patients who have had pacemakers or defibrillators inserted require periodic monitoring to ensure that these devices are functioning properly. These services are coded from the non-invasive psychologic, or I'm sorry, physiologic studies and procedure categories. So electronic analysis must be performed periodically to ver verify the functioning of devices such as a pacemaker or implantable defibrillator once they have been implanted. An electrocardiogram and other analysis of the device are performed. So are separate codes provided for analysis of single and dual chamber pacemakers? Yes, they are. So non-invasive uh, physiologic studies and procedures, so we're on 93701 still, 
Um, there's ambulatory blood pressure monitoring, monitoring on an outpatient basis over 24 hour period. Thermograms are visual recordings of body temperature. Coding may be done for the total procedure or for each of its components. Okay, so now we're gonna go to our radiology section. So I'm getting ready to go there now. And I have mine for the heart already sectioned out. So the cardiovascular uh, portion of the radiologic, uh, in the radiology section is divided uh, complete procedures into two components, technical and professional. The radiology uh, section of the heart is 75557 through 75574. The aorta and the arteries are 75600 through 75774. So go ahead and turn in your CPTs to 75557. And that's going to be your heart portion. And right on the next page are your vascular procedures. Codes in the heart subsection are used to report cardiac magnetic resonance imaging, which are MRIs. Code from the aorta or artery subsection document aor aortography. <laughs> sorry. Let me start again. Say it again. Codes from the aorta artery subsections document aortography excluding the heart. Okay. Example angiography. The technical component angiography remains in the radiology section. Professional component injection moved to the surgery section. Okay, what is the purpose of modifiers 26, which is professional component, and TC, which is technical component? To uh, what's its purpose is to clarify the portions of the service delivered by the physician and the facility. Okay, cardiovascular neuroradiology section. Um, in most situations in which angiography is done, a cardiologist performs the injection and a radiologist performs the angiography itself. If a cardiologist performs both the technical and the professional components of the procedure, what modifier are you gonna use? You don't use either a 26 or a TC. No modifier would be used with the CPT code to show global billing. So we're gonna do a little bit more um, on the TC26 modifier, just to make sure you guys have an understanding of that. Um, I also expect for you to do some research on your own to see what the difference is and when you need to use them. Contrast material. When a contrast material is used with a radiologic procedure, it may be bundled into the procedure code. Often radiologic procedures use contrast material to improve an image. Many codes have contrast material bundled into the service. How are you gonna know? Because it's gonna say with contrast or with or without contrast. Only injected contrast qualifies. Okay, contrast can uh, contrast not included in the description used in the procedure code both contrast material and injection separately. You're going to know because it's going to say with or without contrast. If you've used contrast and there's not, it's not contrast included in the code and uh, then you need to uh, pull the contrast code from medicine. Physicians perform injection procedure in the hospital outpatient department use modifier 26 for professional component only. Okay, 
So a component coding example. Two physicians, cardiologists and radiologists from the same uh, facility performed an angiography of third order and bronchiosophilic artery with contrast. The cardiology placing the cath the cardiologist placed the catheter 36217 comes from the surgery section. Radiologist performs the angiography, supervision, and interpretation 75710. And the supply of contrast material is 99070. That is the end of our lecture. I know you're probably going, oh my goodness. Sorry, I had to take my jacket off. I got hot. Oh my goodness. How in the world am I going to do this? I don't want you to worry. I want you to read. I want you to highlight. I want you to get in your CPT. And I want you to do your exercises and I want you to see how difficult these exercises actually are for you to do. If you have trouble, please let me know and we'll talk more about it. But for now, this is the end of chapter 17, cardiovascular lecture. Have a great day. If you need anything, please let me know. Bye-bye.